A special thank you to our sponsor for today's video, Squarespace. More on that later. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Gilly Allen and welcome to this week's video. Welcome to this week's video. Thank God it stopped raining. It was really, really loud and I was a little bit worried. I won't lie to you, I was a little bit worried. But it's it's gross outside, but it's actually better for me to film. So we're all good. Today, I want to show you some of my, we'll call them favourites, favourite plants in the house for October. That doesn't mean to say I'm gonna do it every month, it's just, we're in October, why not, okay? Now, it kind of goes without saying that like nearly all of them are my favourite, right? Because, I mean, I love them all, that's why I brought them here. But I do have a few that kind of stick out to me. So, without further ado, in no particular order, I don't have these ranked or anything, I'm just gonna take you straight through them. So if that sounds interesting to you, then just keep on watching! Also, the hair, the face, the washed out, I know, literally, I know. Anyway, right, I need to just, oh, that's quite sexy. That is quite sexy. This is, if you can't obviously tell, this is Anthurium Warraquinum, Queen Anthurium. And oh my god, how good is that? I don't know how old this is, probably quite old admittedly, because to be honest, I've had this for a few years, but it's always been like dying in a corner or something. So I've started kind of putting the effort in a little bit. And look how much this has rewarded me. How can this not be a favourite? Now it's not, if you look, oh my god, I'm dribbling down my hand. It's not my special one. My special one is off frame, it's up there. Nothing is wrong with him, nothing is wrong with him. I'm just kind of bowled away with the leaf I've been able to get in this house. This is very impressive, it's very dark, there's not a thing wrong with it actually, it's completely and utterly, it's just perfection, look at it, it's absolute perfection. <gasps> the tip, the tip, the tip, just so you know what I am saying, it is absolutely wonderful and I can only hope it keeps on growing for me like this because it's so, so pretty. So I love him, I do need to pot him up, obviously this is just in a pot, in a, it's not even in a pot that will help me out in this situation because it's actually got holes in the bottom and it's still leaking from all my plants upstairs where they've been sat in water. But I absolutely love it. I hope it stays like this. I really, really do. Because, oh, like how nice would that look? Just sort of, I mean, not here, granted, but like, just look at it. Look at it. Oh my God. I almost wish I had a second shelf, you know, but I can't have shelves in here that are too low because the cats will just try and jump up. So the, the shelves might seem quite high up, but it's for safety reasons. And I knew, to be honest, I was going to put plants like down here and behind. So that's why I've done that. But anyway, moving on from him, he's, I don't know if he's a he or she, but look at how amazing it is. Like it's, it's thumbnail worthy that really, isn't it? Right, we'll pop him down. Now I'll show you the other plant from upstairs before we move on to some of the ones in here. I'm not cheating, honestly, they're still in my house. <laughs> they're just not in this room because they're clearly not ready to be in this room. They're not potted for this room. But I had to pull this guy out because he looks so nice. My only, not really gripe, but my only thing I would say to improve him would be to just have him a little bit yellower, which probably could happen if I had him down here, he'd probably brighten up. This is Philodendron by Penifolium Aurea. I don't know how many people care about these. I, I hear mixed opinions. They're not, um, I mean, I would say they're not amazing to propagate. I think they're just slow more than anything. I don't remember having a problem with them. Personally, I think I've got quite a lot of these and I only bought like five in. So I, on that, I would actually say they were okay to propagate. I don't know. I just wish this one was slightly more yellow. I don't know if you can tell, but this is looking quite a little bit limey and I won't bore you too much, I've mentioned this before. This is kind of a caveat that you get with yellow variegation, because I like to call it Polaroid variegation. I don't know if that's just my name for it, or everyone calls it that, or that is the name for it. Let me know in a comment below. I only say that I call it that, because I'm not actually sure if that's the term, but I call it that. But anyway, no matter who calls it that, I think it's a very good way of describing it, because what can happen is the variegation will come in, it won't immediately burst out yellow. Sometimes it's hard to see or a variegation when the leaf is forming. For example, Monstera aurea, you can't always see what's going on. You can't always see what's going on till the leaf start to harden. So hopefully it hardens to more of a yellow tone, right? And to be honest, is this old leaf here, that is more yellow toned if I hold that up for you. Sorry, it just wants to focus on me. That's very, very rude. But these newer ones are very healthy and gorgeous. Like this is a beautiful stout little plant. I'm very happy with it. It's just not quite yellow. So it could be yellower. But it's the only caveat really of aurea variegation 
station. Some people hate it for this very reason, for this very reason. But in my opinion, if it is low and it won't, you know, perk up, you could always just say it's lime. Don't sell it as that. It's very different, but you know, it's kind of up to you really. This one's a little bit more yellow as well, actually. Sorry. There we go. A little bit better. Anyway, I'll pop him back. I really like him. I just like how he's grown. He's just, if you look, if it will actually let you... Oh God, now it's focusing on my wrist. Why? But yeah, it's... He's grown just really, really nicely and stout, and I think he's very pretty. So he would be nice to pop down here. I'm not really sure what I want to do on the basis that he's going to climb, and I don't love poles. The things that are on poles in here, I'm going to show you some of them today. They're good, but most of the time the pole's going to be covered. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Let me pop him back. Okay, now I just have to think of something to pick up. Oh, by the way, actually, slight interlude. The shirt that I'm wearing, the sweatshirt I'm wearing here, it's not mine, it's by Tropics Narcotics. I will link it down below and you can go and buy it if you like. It's not mine. Uh, I do work with them for my merch, actually. They make my merch. But yeah, I forgot about that. I realize I'm wearing something and you're gonna be like, what is it? Literally, it's so cool. Can I get back enough for you to see it? It's well cool. That's the back, that's the front. And then down the sides, we've got some Queen Anthurium, which is very on brand. Oh, we've got a Vici eye there. For some reason, I thought they were both queens. So we've got King and Queen here. Awesome, love it. Pause for one moment, guys. I wanna to talk to you very quickly about the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for around three years now, and honestly, I'd never go anywhere else. There's a huge selection of up-to-date templates that are fully customizable to your own branding. Squarespace comes with a really great set of tools to help you with selling on your website, as well as a range of payment options. It's super easy to set up PayPal, Square, Stripe for credit cards, Apple Pay, and in some countries, even Afterpay and Clearpay, which basically allows customers to spread out the payments for your products without affecting your plant sales. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for yourself or perhaps you're setting up an online business like mine, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And back to the video. Right, to carry on. Oh, I need to show you this guy. Oh, so you probably haven't really seen this guy in a while, but look how well he's doing. Like actually look how well he's doing. He was in my cabinet. That's probably why you have not seen him because I don't know. I just, I think it, he was one of the first plants to come over actually, minus like the tie or something. And I put him in the cabinet because I honestly thought, Ugh, like Anthurium, mm, don't know what's gonna happen because I hadn't brought any other Anthurium over yet. He was too tall for the shelf anyway. So I just thought, mm, okay, we'll put him in the bottom of the cabinet. And he's been sliced here. This is not his actual shape. He's been sliced because he was a bit unwell before he came. I think it was like bacterial rust or something. But oh my God, guys, this new leaf was on the way out before it got here, I think. Or it was like it was starting to come out and it's grown out on a weird angle and it took a little while to settle because I repotted it, which I think I repotted it on camera. I'm not 100% certain actually. But then can I just, oh my God, this is pretty. This is another thumbnail. See, now you know why they're my favorites. Now you know why they're my favorites. Look at this guy. Well, look at this guy. Sorry, it probably doesn't want to focus. That's really annoying. I'm so sorry. Oh my God, that's beautiful. <gasps> that's so nice. Can I make him look even cooler? Well, look, it's like replaced my head. Love that for me. Love that for me. Look at that. Oh, that's so beautiful. No, don't. Wow. It was finding a, f you know what? You think Monstera are great until your camera starts finding faces in it. Not ideal. Yes, yeah, sorry. This plant is a hybrid of Anthurium clarinervium and Anthurium le lecanurum, something like that. I know, I know. I've had this for years and I still don't know what it is. I'm so sorry. I'm probably always going to forget the name, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So he's doing brilliantly. He's got another flower coming. I, I kind of wish he would stop flowering, to be honest, because I want the leaves. And that's probably why he has only pushed out one leaf since he's been here, because he's probably given me like two flowers. I don't know. But how literally, like that is the size of my head there. Like, I, I, I don't know if you can tell how big this is, considering it's not a big plant either. Literally, this is, guys, the size of my head. Look at it. Now, don't get me wrong. I always say this. I have a small head. 
but you get the point. This is very, very, very pretty. And it's nice because it's still subtle. It's still just as tough as a Clarinovium, but it just looks a bit different. And oh, I think he's amazing. And if you couldn't already tell, I've taken him out of the cabinet to kind of mix it up and just see how he does being over here. Let me just move him around. Was he about there? Is that where he was? He looks cute. Yeah, he looks cute. So I put him there to see how he does. Fingers crossed he does do well because I would I'd prefer him out because he's really nice. I've sprayed him with pest stuff recently. And to be honest, it's just made him look even more dark and matte and nice. I don't know. Right. Ooh. I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to surprise you. It's this. It's this. I know. I know. Look how big it got. Look how big it got. Right. Can't remember the name of the begonia. I know someone I dated. I keep forgetting it. I do apologize. So I moved this from the shop to here and I moved it on the day that I repotted it. I repotted it like, oh, I don't know. 10 minutes before I brought it here, but it was really underwatered to the point where it got so floppy, it was dangerous, right? So I repotted it. I still haven't topped it back up. I basically lost half the pond out of it, which was my pond, into the car because I potted it up, but I didn't water it because I thought, hey, if something goes wrong, I'm not just going to have loads of water in the car, but it'll be fine. I didn't strap it in or anything. Basically, I drove. I didn't brake quickly, but I guess it was because it had no weight and it was technically top heavy. I broke near a roundabout and straight over and where's it gone here you see this here uh, 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 that way it just snapped on me so i took the propagation from it the propagation i took the snapped bit stuck it in some water it started to just grow roots recently i put a little bit of number five in it and roots started sprouting and then my dad took it because one of the reasons i actually took this from the shop in the first place is because my dad wanted it but i i feel kind of attached to it because look at it it's really quite pretty is that permanently yeah it's kind of permanently bold but i don't mind it it's got some some support it's probably not ideal but how honestly like how amazing is that don't get me wrong if you look at it from certain angles no it's not sexy but most of the time it is and it's got new leaves coming in quite nicely at the front you can see this Sorry, this will be very difficult to show you. Yeah, it just does. It's finding. Let me see if I can get my head into the. There we go. It's finding faces where there are none, but it is growing new bits. It's so pretty. And you know what? I actually really like the way it just sort of sits here. It's just got a really nice little place to live. And I just think it just, I mean, that that's a terrible, terrible position. I've just put it in literally. That is terrible. Is it because it was in front of that? Well, oh, that's a new leaf on that. Let's not disturb him. Was it kind of like that? I can't remember how it looked. It looked good. Now I feel like it doesn't. Is it because it's, uh, hang on, is it because, is it because it looked like that? I don't know anymore. I don't know how I had this. See, I've jinxed it by picking it up, but really it probably needs a little bit of a better staking up situation. But I honestly, I know that's probably going to surprise everyone. Everybody, but I've, I've kind of fallen for it a little bit to be honest I kind of like it and it's just so different to everything else so it does tend to like pop out from the shelf for example I'm going to continue picking up the easy ones because there's a there's a one in the corner I dread getting to but yeah I need to get to it right I really want to pick up this guy oh my goodness I love this guy let me get him up safely oh he's heavy though he's not long been watered does he look good you know what he bloody does look good look at it oh you know it's a good video when there's loads of plants that look like they could be thumbnails quite honestly like look how nice this is oh my god look at it this is a new leaf if you couldn't tell it's massive by the way again my head new leaf i ain't playing right obviously fed with my feed but anyway so this is philodendron 10 new crossed by jose bone i i don't know which one the parent is <sighs> I, I don't know. I'd almost say tenue, to be honest. But the cool thing about the cross is if you've looked up both, Jose Bone, a little bit stouter, smaller, you know, narrower internodal spacing, big paddly leaves, everything else, shorter petioles. Luckily, this plant has inherited the shorter petioles because I'm not personally a fan of tenue. To be honest, I find it a bit, you know, not my vibe. And I love the paddliness, but it still kept some pretty ridges. And you know what? The main reason I love this plant, I can clearly tell you what it is. It is because it grows, it's a climber, but it can be kept so tight that you lose the moss pole. This is on a moss pole. It's on a moss pole. Look, you see there? Can you see how tight it is? Maybe, I hope you can. It's so tight. Let's see if I can, it's basically the same, isn't it? It's twisted round a bit, which does irritate me a lot. It's so, so, so good. Now, if this looks less than perfect, which underneath there it does, it's recently had spider mites. I have sprayed it with a DIY pest spray, which is why it looks so waxy and quite sexual, actually. Um, and so far, so 
so good. I did treat it with another spray before the DIY one I made, um, but it's more about will this one now work for it. So we'll see. But honestly, if you can get your hands on these, look at it. Look at it. I absolutely urge you to get your hands on this plant. If you don't like the look of this, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? You don't even, in my opinion, need to like philodendron that much to like this because it looks really jungly. It's borderline my favorite here today, actually. Above my tie. Above my tie, and that says a lot. So I'm going to pop him back. Oh God, I don't want to hurt things. I don't want to hurt things. Let me put him back nicely. Otherwise, he'll not go back properly and it will annoy me. Um, How about that? Was that the vibe? Was that vibe? Well, it is now, isn't it? Right. Can I get anything smaller? I think I need to now pick up my favorite monster in the room. Well, I've got two because I've got some really good news about one of them and I've waited for months. But let me pick up this one. This might be a surprise to people. It might not. I don't know. I've given my opinions on mint here and there recently that I'm coming to, you know, like it a bit more. This is beautiful. And a few of you on Instagram said it was like one of the nicest ones you've seen. Thank you so much. That's a massive compliment. I did no work. It's all him. It's all him. Sorry, I'm trying to hold it in a way where you can see it properly. So this, this one's been a journey. I think this one was, it wasn't the original one I picked to take home. I have a couple in the corner and that was the original one I picked and then it started throwing out like shit variegation. So I swapped it for this one, except I didn't swap it. I just brought this one as well. So we started off, is that the lowest? Yeah, we started off with not a lot, look. You see that? It's there, but it's not there. We then went to this one, which admittedly is a lot better. And then something magical happened and we got this one here. The Nuff said that about that, the better. We've got this one here, which is absolutely beautiful. And then the newest one, which is just kind of hardened off, is there. Let me try and get up. I, it's really trying to focus on stupid stuff. I'm so sorry. If I put my face in line with it, we should be all right. Honestly, check it. Check it. Again, it's had this pest spray on, so if it looks a bit waxy and a bit sexy, like, is it this leaf? A bit waxy, a bit sexy. Same as, God, I can't point on this monitor. If, I, if you see me looking down, by the way, I'm looking down at the monitor so I can make sure the plants are in the frame because the other monitor on my camera is off. So if you see some waxiness, that's what it is. Personally, I think that spray's made everything look really nice. It doesn't stink like Neem does, so. If you want to know what the DIY spray is, by the way, watch my chores video, which I believe was out last week. Um, it's shown in the thumbnail. It's like a blue spray. If you want to know what it is, my experience with it in real time, then you can go and look at that. So yeah, I think this guy just looks... I mean, that's a thumbnail. Look at it. Like, it's beautiful. Yeah, he's just... I, I've got really lucky with him and I hope this continues. I don't plan on cutting him, so fingers crossed. Honestly, fingers crossed. Now I have to put him back without hurting anyone. Now I have to put him back without hurting anyone. Oh dear lord. Oh. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god. Please don't. He's back. He's okay, guys. We've got him. We've got him. Right. Uh, I feel like this plant is not getting enough to survive right now. He's just... He's starting to bend a bit funny and I think he's just... He needs to be somewhere else, really. Right. You're not for now. Can you see him in the frame? <gasps> no. I'm going to pick him up later, but literally. Look at that. Look at that. Amazing. Right. Um, I'm going to try and pick up this other Monstera. He is my favorite as of right now before I started filming because I've just noticed he is finally pushing a new leaf. Backstory. This is a head cutting from a green on green Monstera that I have featured in my tours and stuff. Again, it was one of the really early Monstera that came back for whatever reason. It didn't matter what I fed him. He just didn't want to grow. Now he literally had, when I say head cutting, he had no roots at all. Like he had nothing. And in fairness, he's never died, obviously. He's never taken any damage either. So in that respect, I'm actually quite happy. Like I'm not too mad. But just as of literally me looking today, I have noticed, can I even get this out? Oh shit, I might not be able to get it out. <gasps> I've just given you a big backstory and I can't get the bloody thing out. Oh no. Can I just pick out the top of the pot? Oh no. Okay. So he's wedged into the ceramic, so I have to pick him up like this. One minute, guys. This will be impossible to show you. He's still very wobbly in the pot. So I'm going to hold him very briefly. Very, very briefly. I'm even going to have to hold on to him. How do I... There. You probably cannot even see the green on green. Maybe you can. I will leave him on the camera a little bit there to just linger. But he literally... You can see right here, he has a new leaf coming out. But as I say, he's not even, like, stable in the pot. He still doesn't have a lot of roots. So to even get that coming out... I'm really, really happy. I can't believe this is wedged though. You see this? There's plastic wedged into like ceramic and it's probably never coming out. So that's fun. One moment. I have to now try not to ruin it. Oh God, please don't. Okay. Ooh. I'm going to just repot him back in there. Push him a little bit. Just let him... Oh, see now I've made him really wobbly. Please just be okay. Please. 
Right. I probably shouldn't have picked them up. It was probably too soon. I have been kind of waiting to really show you him, but he is one of my favorites. Right. Ah, uh, okay. This guy, because you know what? He just looks great all the time. This is Anthurium pallidiflorum. It's supposed to be super narrow, and I, th I think it is. I think it just threw me one slightly wider um, leaf, but he's very, very pretty. And look at him again. Guys, I, I'm not just saying this. I have no humidifiers running in this house. I promise I have nothing. I think I'm looking at my cabinet so I can see the humidity there. It's somewhere around 50 to 55% in here, guys. I promise. I absolutely promise you it's not a lot. And look at the growth. Look at the growth I've got on him. See if I can put that in front of the camera. Can you see this? Like, what? Look at it. He's just, he's perfect. That's his newest leaf there. Looking really cute. You might have seen him recently on Instagram. Obviously, that's because he is so sexy. So he's in here in this little Lechuza pot and he, he probably can stay in here a bit longer because he's doing all right. I'll probably not touch him until he's, I don't know, he's drinking water at a rate of knots or something. And you know, this dial here just keeps going down all the time. Then I'll know he's probably, you know, it's time. But honestly, oh, he's just, how nice is that? How nice is that? No, he's not Vitarifolium, but he's very very pretty and nice and this little gap uh so hard to point on a monitor this little gap here just gets filled look if i pop him here look at that it just i mean all right it doesn't totally fill the gap but you get my point it's so nice i love it so much right i've got to get a really difficult one down now because he is tangled in my big monster uh, and i worry i always worry about getting this guy down so give me a moment oh no oh no i'm scared I'm really scared, but he's so nice, I have to show you all. Because he's just, he's just like Instagrammable. In fact, I was gonna say why haven't I Instagrammed him, but it's probably because he's a little bit too much. I will show you what I mean, because this guy is just, he's incredible. He is incredible. Look at him. Oh my, I've never had so much fun holding up plants, because you know what? All of the plants in this house, pretty much, are absolutely thriving, and this is one of them. So if you're wondering how long this is, the best way would be to put him on the floor because it's safer. Because I'm only five foot four, guys, you know. I pick up his long... Oh no, what have I done? Is that the long one? Is that the long one? What's happened here? Two minutes, technical difficulties. Yeah, he goes way up past me. He's so long and let me pick him back up because that's not exactly the pretty end of him, is it? If anyone missed it, I made this guy because this is not that easy to get in the UK. I don't know if it's in garden centers now. I'd like to think it is, you know, but maybe it isn't. If you're in the UK and you happen to know that, let me know if you can buy, you know, in a big plant, like big plant. Um, but I brought him here. A, f a select few of you might remember I put him on the shelf behind me. Again, there was hardly anything here and he was probably genuinely about that long to where my hand is. Obviously, it's, it's beyond a joke. He's been fed, obviously, with my feed. And he has done the exact same thing that the Mykans always does, which is he essentially just, he goes a bit nuts. And every three months I have to trim, like I, I'm not making it up. I swear to you, I'm not making it up. I have to trim like several feet, feet off this plant. Like it's not even funny. He just, look at him. He just looks beautiful. If anything happened to this, I would genuinely be very upset. Look how gorgeous that is. And you know what? This, I'm going to say this and it's, it might surprise a few people. This is fast becoming my favorite hanging plant. And the reason is, I think there is something very special about the way that this has like that waterfall effect. Personally, I think that this Cebu Blue, and not obviously other Epi Premnum as well, but because these leaves are so, the way that they're shaped, how fine they are, they just seem to test together a little bit better. They seem a little bit better at it than obviously like a Mykins or a, a Heteracium or something. They just seem to fill in all the gaps and look so unbelievably amazing. Like this is the back and it still looks good. You know what I mean? That's the back of the plant. Like every which way you look around it, it's just so stunning. And yeah, again, like it's not even funny. I'm genuinely in love with this plant and it's got, a, I hope it comes off on camera. It's got the most beautiful blue hue on it. I'm going to put him back because I don't want anything happening to him. But trust me, guys, I am obsessed with it. Absolutely 1 million percent obsessed. Right, I need to put this back without hurting anybody now. Right, I have to... What I'm having to do, by the way, sorry, I know you can't see any of this. I'm having to drape him around the trunk, if you will, because it is big enough, of the Monstera. Sorry, I'm probably hitting my mic. I'm just trying to figure out which way it went. Was it that way? Which way? Which way forward was it? So you'd think I'd know, but I don't. Could be that way. I don't know. It was, it was a little, little something like that. Obviously, I've played with it now, so it's not optimal.
optimal. It's not optimal. But yeah, he's just, oh, it's such a sexy plant, man. Right, what else do we have? Are we nearing the end of my favourites? Because obviously I have a few things in here, but they can't all be my favourites, even though they kind of are. You know what I mean? I have to pick up this thing on the floor and I've been putting it off because it's so heavy. <laughs> not for any other reason, because it's really heavy. So let me try and pick it up because it's, uh, it's doing really well. I just wish it would crawl because it's not so far. And it is a crawler, I promise. It's just, it's decided not to temporarily. You've seen this before. Look at him. Oh my god. This is my philodendron plamanii. It is the kind of plamanii whereby you don't get the silver on it. I'll do my best. I really will do my best, guys. Probably the mic might go a bit funny now to just show you it. This, again, this is the size of my head. I repeat, this is the size of my head. This is the size of the plant. Let me come right up so you can see the gorgeousness of this plant. When you get it in more context, if I just hold it back here. Like, it's not... Sorry, I'm trying to watch my mic. It's not playing around. Obviously, this leaf in the middle here is new, and this is an older leaf that... It was kind of the first one it put out after it repotted it. But look at it. Oh, he sat in this... Long boy, to be fair. I promise he is a crawler. He just, he's kind of stopped crawling. And I i don't know why. I don't know why he stopped crawling, but he stopped crawling. I'm expecting him to go this way. And he's just sort of not. So, hmm, I'll see what happens with him. He might need to be adapted to. But oh my God, look at him. Just actually look at him. He's beautiful. He's absolutely beautiful. But I have to put him down because obviously, silly me, didn't wait to water it until I'd done this video. I just watered it. So... There he is. Can you get him in the frame or not? Sort of. Oh my god. Look at it. Oh, that's so sexy. That's so sexy. Right, is there anything else that I would deem to be a favourite? Is that my cat screaming? Is it? Yeah. I let my cat in in one second. Uh, I think that's it for favourites because I am trying to keep it very concise and it actually be my favourites. So let me just get my cat. He'll be very upset about being picked up. Come here, Dean. What is he? Come here. Oh, don't be stretching like that. Let me have a little look here. There we go. Oh. Oh, like, what? You right? Hey, eh? I've started like jigging him like this and he seems to like it. Hello, hello, are you all right? He did wee on something new today as well. He weed on a camera bag. You still pissing on things? Yes, he weeds. Oh, careful. No, baby, just ask to be put down normally, like a normal boy. Right, there you go. That was Teddy for you. He's probably gonna try and chew everything now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm out of breath. <sighs> My cat's probably gonna start screaming. What is it, Teddy? <coughs> Why don't you come up? Why don't you want to just sit like this? Oh, sorry, that's on the mic. You sit like this, look. He hates being lifted like this. Look, look at the camera. Whoa, what's going on? No, you don't like it, do you? Why is that like that? That can't be comfy. That can't be comfy. Baby, no, just be careful. Come on, go down, because I don't want you jumping and getting hurt. Right, thank you very much for watching this video. This cat needs fed. He's rolling over. I'm going to trip on him. I will love you and leave you. If you haven't already, check out Tropics Narcotics, who gave me this wonderful sweatshirt that I've now covered in cat hair. Apologies, not the best advert. I also have my own merch on my merch website. I also have babies. No, don't do this. Don't do this. Oh my god. I also have my podcast that is out, guys. If you're interested in the podcast, the link will be below uh, in the description box. Check out Squarespace if you haven't already as well. Love them. We do. We love them. We swear by them. You want some food? Oh. You look so strange. Why are you pushing back on me? <laughs> Not tall enough for this camera frame. I didn't frame it for a cat. Hey, this is your bum. Hello. You want to go? Why are you sitting like this? Dude, oh, you can't roll over like... No. <laughs> This is not how it's done. Ted. Baby boy. Hi. Oh, I know. I know. But this is really... You're pushing back on me. It's really weird. I don't even see him. Literally having to stand on my tiptoes to try and get you to see him. Oh, babies. Oh, babies. Oh, look. Oh, look. Should we say bye now? Hmm? Should we say bye? I will see you next week, guys. Links from the description. Love you and leave you. Bye from Teddy. Say bye from Teddy. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, let me put you down. Bye, guys. Hey, come on in. Come on in. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs>